my way to Ed Bell's house. He is a very well-known radio collector, and he wants me to work on a couple of his radios. And while I'm there, I'm going to see if he'll let me take a quick look around his place. He has a fabulous collection. It's Every time I go there, it's just amazing. I can throw all my stuff away. This is Ed's place. Actually, Ed, this will probably end up on YouTube. Let's see, I'm going to repair that one and this one. This is amazing stuff, Ed. Here's that Atwater Kent 487. I've checked out all the major coils and haven't replaced any caps yet. And also, Ed told me that it did play and it stopped. So, what I'm going to do is over here and turn on all right there I can move that up slowly watching the current meter there and it doesn't look like anything's wrong. The current of a radio is very important. Okay. So obviously we can hear it playing. Move that up to 120. And remember, when you want the very best, it's got to be NC. Right there. Okay. Current's just slightly over a half amp. The way I have this calibrated and set up. Oh, good. So, make it more reliable. We'll replace the wax caps. There's the speaker for it. And then check the rest of the bands and see if they're working. Okay. I've 
think I'm pretty well done with this. We'll find out. I need to do some testing. There's a whole bunch of caps and other parts are replaced. I also added this wire removing the uh, other wire that they had in there. They had some twisted pair in there that was actually shorting out part of the signal. Whoever worked on it before. But here is the tuning which is pretty neat. That's a nice big old dial there. This radio is about like 1936 at Atwater Kent 487. I'm going to change bands here. And you can see the that whole thing move up and down. So now what I'm going to do is play it for many hours and see if it behaves itself. Okay, it's time to start testing this thing and you can see the emblem up here. Very beautiful dial on that thing. Atwater Kent 487. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to leave it on my Variac. Turn this on and I'm going to turn that up to 120. Let's see here. Zoom in so I can read that. Under 20, turn on the, the radio here. I might have to adjust this again. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, 120. Now the current here, before it was right there, but now it goes up to about three quarters of an amp, which is correct for this radio. Turn up the sound here. Sensitivity switch there. Uh -oh. We're on a short wave band. There's an intermediate band. Sensitivity switch again. There's a tone switch here. Okay, let's go down to the AM band. Let's see, did I go? Yeah, here we go. Vehicle action and blocking eastbound west of Broadway at Harrison Oaks Boulevard. And that earlier accident involving a locking truck on 40 westbound at South Saunders Street is still in the clearing stages and the right three lanes are closed. And it's causing delays all the way back. There's storms around mainly this evening. Okay, now it's very important. Then for Friday, keep an eye so on that current. Shower storm in the afternoon, highs around 90, and for Saturday, partly sunny skies and a high again. And so far, it's behaving itself. Chris Holman, for News Talk 680 WPTF. What's the definition of downtime for Amy Fake, small business owner? Downtime is my worst nightmare. I own a flower shop, and I get phone and email orders all day long. If my customers couldn't reach me, I lose business and my reputation. Very pretty radio. That's just plain scary. That's why I. I'll take another picture of it when we get it back into the cabinet. Windstream, you get 99.99% reliable phone service and 24/7 internet.